Hi, everyone. It's Ann Ford. I'm calling in from Ojai, California. I'm a one star national marketing director, and my topic for today is your circumstances don't define you. Your circumstances don't define you. Um, I think of it like this, and I hope this is helpful. Your current circumstances are a result of your past thinking, your past mindset, your past um, behavior, your past actions. So why would you want to be defined by your past? You wouldn't. Um, so this is how I would suggest putting more attention on your forward vision than your past. Because honestly, when you're when you come right down to it, you're in this business to have something that you don't currently have or do something that you're not currently doing. Be somebody that you're not currently being. So um, your vision statement, I think, is the magnet that pulls you toward the life that you're dreaming of. But you, a clearly defined vision statement is going to be a lot more effective than a very general vision statement. Your vision statement could say, I'm making X, Y, Z amount of money per year. That doesn't have any juice. It doesn't have any specificity to it. Um, how I suggest writing it, and this is to keep your attention on the circumstances that you want to create instead of reacting to your current circumstances and wondering why they're not signaling that you're already successful. Think about that. So the vision statement is handwritten with a pen and a paper. That's going to engage your psychophysical self much better than typing on a keyboard. That's been scientifically proven. And you're going to future five years from today and write the vision in present tense as if it's already happening. So the prompt for writing an effective vision statement is to ask yourself, what is the life that I would love to live? What is the life that I would love to live? If time and money was absolutely no object, where would I be living? Who would I be helping? How would it feel to help that person or that charity or that organization? Where would I be traveling? What would I do when I got there? How long would I stay if time and money was no object? So you wanna make it as big and shiny and compelling as possible. And you wanna write it in future tense, I mean, excuse me, in present tense as if it's already happening. So you're actually walking around in your imagination in that life that you would love to live. And put in details that really get your uh, heart uh, open because the other part of this is that when you read it back to yourself this is not a creative writing exercise this is actually to get your vision in front of yourself so that when you read it back to you it actually stirs emotion in you you should feel excited or maybe even um, a little emotional because it's so beautiful and it's so compelling so if you read this consistently to yourself, I would su suggest once a day, it's the best thing you could ever do for yourself. Put that vision in front of yourself, read it out loud. It stirs the emotion. Thought sends the signal out. Emotion draws the event back to you. That's Dr. Joe Dispenza, one of my favorite people on the planet. Don't wait for the circumstances around you to change. You've got to change. When you become really familiar with your vision statement, with which the life that you would love, a fantastic question to ask yourself is, who am I in that life? Who is that person? How do they behave? How do they walk into a room? How do they handle a problem or whatever? So that you can actually start becoming, rehearsing becoming that person now, but you're actually, when you're rehearsing becoming that person now, you're actually emulating those qualities. That is how you create a life by design instead of reacting to a life that you're living by default. This is actually taking charge of your own circumstances and your life will change very rapidly if you do these exercises wholeheartedly. 
If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. But if you don't know where you're going, then any road will take you there. <laughs> uh, so that's my offering for today. Don't let your circumstances define you. They are a record of the past. Keep your forward vision active, keep it compelling, and keep your heart engaged in this business. When you do that, you'll be, you'll be really set for phenomenal positive changes in your life. Thanks so much. This is Ann Ford signing off. Bye now.